All right, we're going to look at a bunch of ways of subsetting data. So, or indexing data, subsetting data, whatever you want to say. Now, um, in the last video, we looked at how to import data from a text file. Uh, short synopsis, this line right here. This is one way of doing it. If you want more details, I'd go see that video. Uh, so here is the data set that we imported from the text file. Here it is imported. We got the gender, age, and time of all our athletes. So. What we need to know when we're subsetting or indexing data is that there are two positions here. There is position one and position two. Now, position one, this is either the column if it's by itself. So, for example, if we do data one, this is gonna give us a vector of all the genders. If we say data two, that's gonna be asking for the second column, which is all the ages, okay? So if it's by itself, that's the column. However, if it's not by itself, position one equals the row we want if it's not, not by itself, okay? And then position two, it obviously can't be by itself ever, or it would just be interpreted as position one, is always, the column we want. So I never really recommend using position one like this by itself, because uh, you, if you do, it's probably a typo. Um, but if you really want to, you know, th this is what it is. If it's by itself, it's asking for the column. Now, how do we use position one without position two, you know, in this way? So I want just the first row, but I want all the columns. Well, that's where this comma comes in. You'll see this a lot. Um, and at first it might look confusing. Why is there a comma there? It's not a typo, even though it might look like one, because what this does now is it says, this is not position one by itself. This is not this usage of position one. This is this usage of position one. This is position one, but I want you to assume position two is here and I want all the columns, okay? So now we get uh, row two with all the columns. Now I'm gonna do row one with all the columns, okay? If we look at our data set, Male 16, 12.5, male 16, 12.5. Perfect. So this is how we use position one as the row that we want. Now we can give it a range. We can say one through 15, that's the first half. We can do 15 through 30, that's the second half. And now how about this second position here? Well, you can see right now we're getting all the columns. That's what just leaving the comma and not specifying which columns we want does for us. It says we want all the columns um, with these rows. Maybe this was just row one and we would get all the columns. Great. Well, what if I just want the gender? Well, the gender is the first column. There we go. Male. What if I just want the age? Age is the second column. There we go. And so on. But what if you had a hundred data points here? You don't want to count through them and say, okay, this, this point that I want is uh, column 57. Obviously you don't want to do that. So another way you can do this is you don't have to provide, you know, just one data point or you could even provide a range here. You could say that you want, you know, this gives us gender, age, and time, but what if you just want gender and time? Well, with just using this indexing, because gender and time have something between them, you can't really use a range like that. But another way you could do it is this combined function in R, which is what this C is, and you can name them here. So I can say, I want gender column, and I want time column. So even though they're separated, I want the columns, that, are, that have the header gender and time. And now we'll see, we get gender and time for row one. And now what if I want gender and time for all the rows? Well, just like deleting position two, if we delete position one, but we leave the comma, then the indexing knows that we want these columns, you know, this is position two. So this is the columns we want, right? So this could be column or columns. And position one is the row or rows we want. If we leave it out, it'll give us all the rows and there we go. So we got all the rows. So obviously we can combine this in any number of ways here. Um, let's do let's do like five through twenty here. We got some male, some female. So uh, you can see that's that's how we do it there. So this is position based indexing. I would call this indexing. Now what about subsetting? Subsetting is what I would call. You know, you have your data set and you want to subset it, subset of it, not based on position, but based on some logical statement. So say that I want all the athletes that were female. How would I get that? Well, if we remember, what is an athlete? Each athlete is represented by one row, right? So if we want to determine which rows we want, we need to use position two. I'm sorry, we need to use 
position one, the rows we want. So let's put our logical statement right here. So we want all the athletes, all the rows, whose a whose gender, sorry, whose gender equals female. Now remember, we have to use this double equals here. If we just use a single equals, that's for assignment. The double equals is for a gender or a Boolean check. Okay. So is the gender female? All right. And remember, if we do it like this, it's going to error out. It's going to say undefined column selected. Because remember, if we don't have a comma here, it thinks this is the only uh, parameter we're giving it. So it treats it as this position one. So we're basically asking it for a column with this name or this position, which doesn't make any sense at all. It can't figure it out. But if we provide it with this comma, it knows that we're using position one in this context. And there's an implicit position two, which is just give me all the columns. There we go. And of course, we could just ask for, in the same way we did above, we could just ask for the gender, sure, and the time. And there we go. We got just the gender and time for all the females. Uh, so that's how we would do that. Um, and what if you wanted to combine logical statements? You might think you want to do this, where you say, and data age is greater than 16, say. Um, greater than or equal to 16, maybe. And if we run this, uh, this is weird, right? Why did this fail? Well, this right here, uh, R does Boolean combinations a little bit differently. So and and, that's for just strictly Boolean uh, operation. Now, if you just use the and by itself, this is a vectorized version, which means that this Boolean statement together will return a vector, which is what we want. And if that doesn't make sense, just remember that we don't want a single value. We want all the rows that match this. And in order to get all the rows or a vector or a list, basically, uh, we want to use the single ampersand here. And if we do this, oh, oops, uh, unexpected and and and. Oh, that's that's weird. Uh, we might hold on. We might have to uh, actually put these. In parentheses here, like this. I think I can actually just yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah. So you, you have to. It it got confused. Um, if you don't put it in parentheses, so you have to put your singular boolean checks in parentheses, and then you combine them with a single and. And remember, if you combine it with a double and, you'll get just like this this weird thing. In this context, this is what that does. But it's basically you need to know if you want a list or you want basically a vector is what it's called. But if you want a list of more than one thing as a result of your Boolean check, you need to use the vectorized version of the ampersand or the vectorized version of the or sign, not the double or, the single or. Okay, so there we go. We got either either your female or your age is greater than 16. And let's just take out this and let's ask for all the columns so that we can check the age here. Yep, 16 and 17. Um, we have a 14 here, but that's okay because it's a female. We said either you're female or you're older than 16. So that is how you index. I would call this indexing. And that is how you subset. I would call this subsetting. Uh, that's just how I differentiate that. I don't think it, that is official, like how, what you would actually say, but that's what I say. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.